Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a pick a card centered on February energy. Um, what is this new month ushering you in? What is coming towards you? Um, what do you need to know, etc, etc. Obviously I have three groups here. Group one, which is Cherry Quartz. Group two is Aura Quartz. And group three is the Labradorite. Please do remember that this is a general reading and not a personal one. So there's no reason to take anything personally. If something is not resonating, just take what does and leave the rest <laughs> or choose a different group. If you're feeling called to listen to more than one group uh, and your intuition is telling you to do so, please listen to it because there's a reason for it. There's obviously a message tucked in someplace for you. Um, you know, I don't gatekeep. Uh, tarot is a tool teaching you how it teaches you how to use your intuition okay and really to trust your gut um so keep that in mind um you're the magic behind the tarot here so anyway go ahead and select whichever group is calling to you and i'm just going to get going oh with group this. one with the cherry quartz this is going to be your reading let's see what's in the cards for you what's coming in right now so very interesting we have toil and labor we have Journey. This is 3810. We have, wow, look at this, you guys. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Sun. This is a good thing. The Sun showing up is a very good thing. We, oh my God, we have the Sun again. Okay, so you have it twice here. All right, I see where this is going. We have Saturn or Saturnus, as it says here. Okay, we also have... Oh, wow, this is so cool. We have Sagittarius, we have Sage, and we have Old Soul. Oh, my God, I love this group. I know, you know, you probably are cringing because of these, but and that. Don't worry about it. Um, so what do I see here? I feel like this group has definitely been through a lot of shit. <laughs> Clearly, because we have Old Soul. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. We have Toil and Labor. Oh, my God, you guys. I feel the deep heaviness and you're just exhausted you know you've been here and you've incarnated many times okay and it's like in the past you've dealt with a lot of heartache a lot of loss a lot of pain a lot of feeling stuck not being heard um perhaps you were in indentured to someone whether you were the spouse of somebody where you had no voice no control um, you literally were like either enslaved or something like this, you know, and let's face it, going through history, you know, especially if you're a female, you've definitely, you know, had no rights, no voice, no anything, um, depending, it's especially what era we're talking about here. And it's still like that in some places on earth right now, as I speak. And I feel like you have a deep connection to this. It's been a very long journey. You have been through so much. You've worked so hard. Your soul is yearning for that day in the sun. And guess what? It's coming. This has definitely been everything. Like if you haven't had your Saturn return yet, your Saturn return is going to completely change everything as long as you've done the work. Okay. Look to your Saturn placement, what house it's in especially, and what zodiac sign it's in. And this is going to tell you where your karma in this lifetime, where there's a lot of karma, okay, um, that you need to work through. Now, I know in some circles here on YouTube especially, a lot of people put a lot of negativity and they attach it to the word karma, okay? That is really kind of foolish because everything in your natal chart and every relationship you have, whether it's with a cousin, a friend, a mother, everything is karmic. Every single last bit of it. It's all here for your growth. Your soul chose this lifetime and chose these lessons you're here to learn in order to grow and expand and in order to level up, basically. Okay? Once you've learned all the lessons, and this could take millennia for some souls to do, once you've learned all these lessons... There's a finality, okay, and a and closure um, that will occur, and then you will be no longer in the material realm, earth, and you will be moving on to more of the spiritual realm. Um, maybe you yourself will become a guide for someone, okay? So it's like, that is like the energy I'm feeling here. 
but it's like, look at, he, you know, look at the, he's so sad. And then, you know, feeling very bound and binded and just constrained. And then look at that joy and happiness. Okay. Because everything you've done up to this point has been a lot of work. There's been a lot of toil and labor, but you've stuck to your guns. You've journeyed through it. You've powered through. And by doing this, and it's like, it's like you feel a strong sense of duty for some reason in this lifetime uh, to get through it, to do it. And when you do this, this is when you truly blossom and you, your day in the sun is coming. We have the sun twice. You are meant to shine. You are meant to be bright. A lot of you could definitely be Sagittarius. It's funny. We have Sage next to Sagittarius and it, those two definitely go hand in hand. Um, where you're definitely going to have like some heavy duty relationship lessons and, and uh, goals to achieve in this lifetime with a Sagittarius. But a lot of you could be Sagittariuses. Um, but you've definitely been, there's this sense of this, you know, being an old soul and, you know, really, it's been, it's been rough, but it's, it's changing. It's going to change as long as you persevere, as long as you stick to it and shoot your shot, honey, you're going to be fine. We have the sun twice here. Now, what's really interesting about these two cards in particular in this deck, it talks about, you know, being aware of the passage of time from day to day, season to season, year to year. Do not waste another moment. Enough wallowing in the past, enough boohooing over shit that didn't go right. Because guess what? There's all these amazing possibilities around you. And I feel for some of you, you're wallowing too much on a past heartache, past relationship, or you're telling yourself, you're self-talking into thinking that you're stuck in a specific situation, but you're not. You have the ability for a lot of movement. And it's really interesting because we have Journey and we have Sagittarius here. Let's face it, Sagittarius is all about travel, about, you know, they're very adventurous, um, <laughs> very expand because it's ruled by Jupiter. So everything is expansive. This is also a warning to don't, you know, to be careful of going into excess, like obsessing excessively over a relationship, too much alcohol, too much drugs, too much food. Be careful. Okay, Sagittarius does have an issue with this, straight up. Um, I haven't met one yet, honestly, okay? And I have known many, and I'm married to one, um, that doesn't have this issue with trying to go to excess, especially with um, stuff like that. So watch out, you know? It's like as Sagittarius' age, if they learn their lesson, they can definitely, you know, gain control over that. And they realize, oh, fuck, you know, I'm going a little freaking overboard with this shit. But only if they tap into that spiritual side and really freaking understand what they're here to do. They're here to learn. They're here to search, seek truth. They're here to get a higher education. They're here to uh, turn around and educate others, become a teacher, um, he, here to travel, here to go to distant lands and things like this. This is all part of this group's journey, okay? And it's like, I see a lot of positive uh, expansion. I feel like you guys have worked really hard and, you know, um, that time of, you know, success is definitely right around the corner. So I want to take a peek at these two cards because I know these have, do have like, uh, they do mention um, time frames. I just want to see if these two have that. Uh, is time to start or take a step forward? Leave your old and familiar situation. Depart for new shores. This might concern your work, your family situation, or your relationship. Maybe it is also time for a trip. This card represents all kinds of vehicles. So, you know, and this is, this is like a side note. If any of you have been having car trouble or you've been like working really hard to try to save money for a car, it's, I see that that is like, there's new vehicles like right around the corner uh, for some of you who have been working hard on that. Um, you know, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's see what else. <sighs> Definitely, you guys, uh, if you're like planning a trip right now, or if you've been thinking about it, you need to do it. Okay, most definitely, because this is going to be part of your soul growth. And it's time to celebrate you. It's time to celebrate those successes. It's time to celebrate that happiness. Okay. Um, with the toil and labor, um, it refers to work done out of necessity, tiring work, monotonous work, the grind. This card differs. Okay. So anyways, uh, it differs from other. So it says, um, okay. So 
Hold on, let me take a peek at this. I'm seeing if there's any time things that I need to see here. This, this is talking about hard work, your daily work. I feel like you guys have been working so hard and you deserve that vacation. So you definitely need to take it. Um, maybe for some of you also, this, this work has been like something that you just have not fucking enjoyed. But because, and then some of you have been working really hard on a degree or something like this or an internship but again, it's worth it. It's like maybe there's been some like a lot of stress or a lot of heavy workload. But once you get through it, oh, honey, success, success, success. Okay. And also look to people around you. There could be a person who is an old soul around you who has some absolute sage advice for you. Okay. I'm going to take this quite literally and um, can give you some excellent suggestions uh, words of advice, listen to them because they know what they're saying because they've already been, they're an older person, clearly, and they've had that experience under their belt already, okay? You can't beat, you know, experience, literally, okay? Time and experience, you can't freaking replace it, all right? It really does matter, okay, when it comes to uh, bringing about success and knowing what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> you know, you, you, can, you can have all this theory you want and read in books all you want, but until you put that theory or that, you know, the education that you got from that book into action and actually experience it for yourself, you just don't know. Okay. And that is definitely, and I feel like it's time to get the hell out of this rut. Stop wallowing in the past. Okay. You got to let that shit go. All right, so that's what I'm seeing for this group. You got some amazing shit coming your way. I mean, sun twice. Sun outshines anything negative. And I feel like for some of you, you've already come out of this period, and here comes the good shit. So uh, if you would like to see more readings by me, go ahead and head out to my Patreon. The link to that is in the drop-down box below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications on this channel. Uh, thank you guys for being with me today. And I will catch you next time. Okay, Bye -bye. for those of you who chose the Aura Courts or Group 2, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what's in the cards for you. All right, let's take a look at this. Ho, 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 ho. We have Pathway, card 35. And we have Sudden Wealth with card 11. We have, oh wow, look at this. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Oh God, this is good. Okay, we have Virgo. We have Taurus, both earth signs, both money. Okay, like literally we're dealing with, uh, you know, that earthly realm of things, obviously with that earth energy, uh, work, everyday career, everyday routine, your personal money. This is about uh, Taurus is ruled by Venus. So anything of beauty, sensuality, food, indulgence, hedonism, things like this. Virgo is definitely about health, fitness, everyday routine, everyday occupation, career, service to others. Okay. So we have Lilith. We have Creator. And we have Taurus again. Oh my God, double Taurus energy. All right. You guys have been working hard, clearly, okay? Working hard, trying to make that coin, going for it. You're really trying to achieve something in your life. As long as you persevere and you keep going, it's coming to you. Much satisfaction, emotional fulfillment, the happy family card. I see that you keep Keep your nose to the grindstone. Keep your eyes open, your ears open, and be alert because there is a new pathway opening up career-wise as well as relationship-wise that is going to bring about uh, some sudden uh, wealth. It could be a change in career even. Like for some of you, <coughs> the Pluto transit could be aspecting your MC. And I don't know. I just like feel like there's a change in career coming up for you guys. That's like, and it could happen quite suddenly. There's something I feel like, pay attention to what that Pluto transit is doing and also what's going on with Uranus. Okay. Um, I don't know why I just, I want to say that. I don't know. So I feel like also some of you have definitely have that Lilith. Okay. You could have it in Taurus or Virgo, but I'm almost feeling like you have... Maybe for somebody here, like your Virgo or your Taurus is in the 10th house, okay? And Lilith is there. And when you have Lilith in the 10th house, okay, if you're a woman, 
This shows that in the public eye, you are literally pegged as Lilith. You could be the most wonderful, generous, kind, loving, like great person who would never hurt a fly. But there's going to be these, and I'm just going to say it, jealous bitches who are going to want to peg you and demonize you and basically, uh, like, basically brand you as Lilith, okay? Now, Lilith got a bad rap. Lilith is a powerful goddess, okay? Um, if you just read into the story, and please go to one more than one source, about who Lilith is, what she represents, okay? She was not going to lay down and do what some man told her. She wanted to be their equal, their counterpart, because that is what the woman is supposed to be. She's supposed to be the feminine to the masculine energy, and they're supposed to be equals and counterparts. They're both different, but equally as powerful in of themselves, okay? And she was not going to become subservient and perverted and used and have to be, you know, when she knew she was completely equal to some dude, okay? So that is kind of the, that is the energy here. A lot of other females might be giving you some flack because you come off and you exude this very sexy, sensuous, very feminine kind of, you know, powerful energy. Um, but you know what? Ignore those bitches. Ignore the haters. Because if you persevere and you keep working hard, you have emotional fulfillment. There is like transformation coming for you, especially in terms of career, uh, career and money, okay? You are a powerful creatrix, a creator, okay? I also have to mention, the Lilith position in a man's chart shows the woman that he fears the most but yet can learn the most from and has valuable lessons and valuable growth you know, and uh, literally they desire like the most. It's like they're sexually attracted to this person super hard, but they're also scared as shit of them. <laughs> you know, it, it's that kind of energy. It's very interesting. The little placement is quite interesting. But I feel like you most definitely are this kind of sensual, very powerful energy. And sometimes people just don't get it and they don't understand. They just want to judge because they're assholes. People are dicks, okay? Uh, people love to point fingers. They love like the low vibing un, I, I don't want to use the word unwoke, but you know, cause I'm so sick of this cliche shit. Um, but literally they're like clueless and they haven't really found their freaking path yet, or they have like insecurities or they're just dicks because they don't know any better sometimes and sometimes they just don't want to be freaking nice because head heart they're just they got some shit they need to work through okay and it's like i get the sense that there has been somebody and people in the past with this group who have definitely like projected that because they're jealous because you're quite talented you have the abilities to create most amazing art beauty you you just attract beauty okay into your life i mean we've got tours twice Again, Venus ruled things. There, you know, you could be a very, you know, pretty person with a beautiful, loving heart. And there are people who have like hate in their heart and have like self loathing who are going to want to project negative shit towards you because they lack that and they're jealous. Okay. Um, you just keep working hard. Okay. You keep doing you. Now, also, it's very imperative that this group pays attention to their health at this time by taking care of your body eating correctly, getting enough exercise. Not only does this uh, lead to longer life, I was posting about this on um, my Patreon, um, but it also keeps you mentally stable. And I'm serious, okay? <laughs> it, it keeps everything in working order. It keeps the body chemistry in check. You know, if you're not, if you're out of whack and stuff, start moving, start exercising, start eating correctly, stop eating processed shit, okay, and start eating clean food that is just without all the preservatives. Shop on the outskirts instead of them inside, of, you know, of the freaking grocery store, seriously. Um, start taking better care of your health and start taking charge of your health. Also, I feel like um, for those of you who have been really sticking to your routine with that, oh, it's like the results are really coming in. You're looking hot. I feel like some of you are taking some sort of dance class too, um, and you're really enjoying it. 
it's it's like a really you found a way to really express yourself that's quite beautiful and you're it's making you more confident in life okay and if you've been considering trying this go for it um I, I just feel like sticking to your guns with this and persevering it's like massive success is coming your way now i'm gonna take a um peek in here i want to see something really quick see if we have anything here with this no okay so but i want to check the time dates on these two because usually these cards have time um with them and basically it's for this card for sudden wealth it says you can feel safe now sudden wealth announces success affluence gain or profit in your job <laughs> exactly it also shows a secure partnership you can draw on unlimited sources at the moment, but avoid being wasteful or boastful. Mm, okay, like literally, like just be the beautiful you and don't get egotistical. Don't get all braggy, you know, really be confident, um, not cocky. And what's the other word I'm looking for? You know, just be, have integrity, definitely, okay? Um, so I, I feel like for some of you, you might actually get lucky. You could be gaining an inheritance as well. Um, I don't know. It's like there's there's definitely money coming in here for sure. So with the pathway, let's see what this, if there's a time with this that is, uh, I always like to check these just in case. Hmm. Oh my gosh. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel now. Pathway may announce the overcoming of distance both temporarily and spatially. If you don't try to force the matter, you'll experience continuous development. This card may concern the slow growth of a partnership or long-term career planning. There it is. Pathway is also a symbol for all roads, streets, and ways forced and nature and look at all the freaking beautiful nature so i feel like also remember what i was saying about moving your moving your body i feel like being out in nature for this group could be quite the inspiration especially if you are doing anything in a creative field getting out grounding yourself in nature on the regular basis is actually going to um boost your creativity and help any blockages especially if you're having any um like creative blocks writer's blocks whatever you know this is going to help you know get ri uh, rid of that so uh there is definitely there has been a long road ahead and there is definitely a long road ahead okay that is part of you know life um but in in it's very interesting that it says it with this particular card it's sometimes referred to two years patience two years two years on this path and it's going to lead to tremendous success okay and they're going to be little gifts and little sudden little drops of wealth along the way as you're going along and this could be wealth in um knowledge as well as money okay so keep that in mind you know it also says a lot needs to be done or something that will take a long time it can also stand for great physical distance um so there you have it so it can mean a long time or a couple of years also, so again, this is going to be ongoing. This is going to take some work. Again, this is perseverance and working hard in order to achieve your goals. If you do this, it will happen for you, okay? Pathways are going to open up to great opportunities, especially for increasing wealth in your life. And considering we have Taurus here, which rules the second house, which is about your money, okay? This is a very good sign, but you've got to persevere. You've got to keep working hard. You can't be lazy. You can't sit on your ass. If you're trying to improve your health here, um, you can't just be, you know, like a total sloth. Okay. You got to like, you know, pick up the pace and move it, you know? Um, and, and, and she's like surrounded by all that fruit right there. It's like, I feel like, um, you know, lots of fruits and vegetables is going to really improve your digestion for some of you okay um if you've been having any tummy issues or anything you need to clean up the diet and really start focusing on like the pure foods that are you know straight from the source and instead of canned or processed all right i just feel like it will really improve your health and i feel like <laughs> as time goes on here you're definitely going to become more empowered as well and really, you know, I feel like the the 
solar plexus chakra is really going to light up in you and you're really going to own your shit. So that's it. That's all I have for this group. If you'd like to see more readings by me, please head over to my Patreon. I also have podcasts. Uh, right now we're doing a series on um, natal promise. You might want to check that out. It's pretty fascinating stuff. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you never miss a video by me. Thank you guys for being with me today, and I will catch you next time. Right, for those of you who chose my Labradorite, my group three people, there's some really nice flash in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Woohoo! I mean, there's some pretty little flashes in this one. I love Labradorite. It's fantastic. If you're a Pisces, this is a really good stone for you. All right, so let's see what is in the cards for you guys. Ooh, <laughs> we have family room with card 21. We have high honor with card 25. Oh my God, this is crazy. We have the page of cups. We have the lovers. We have the 10 of pentacles. Oh my God, and we have family. Wow, <laughs> this is really cool. So this is Gemini energy, by the way, too. We have Aquarius, which is right now. We have Aries, which is coming up here in the future. We have, oh, wow, look at this. We have Star-Crossed. I'm going to move these guys over a little bit. We have Star-Crossed. We have Reunion. And we have Magician. Look at that. Oh, my God. This is so cool. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I don't know. I'm feeling like this group is definitely going to be attending some kind of event. This could definitely be a family reunion of some type, some kind of uh, special anniversary, wedding celebration, you know, even a baby shower. I don't know. There's some kind of family event. I'm seeing a lot of people there. They're, they're definitely honoring somebody here. Okay. There's a lot of celebrating, a lot of happiness and I feel as though there's going to be somebody introduced to you at this event. Now, this family event could even be uh, having to deal with your soul family, or it could be like literally a friend of yours invited you to attend this party, which is given an honor for their family members. But what's going to happen here is there's going to be a meeting. Okay, and there's going to be a big crush energy here because we have the Page of Cups. This is a youthful kind of love, um, and it's so strong, and it's very like teenage love, you know, like that teenage crush. It's very cute, okay? Um, and this person, I mean, this family could be, they're very tight-knit and stuff like this, and it's like you're just going to hit it off with this person. Now, what is so interesting about this is you have incarnated with this person several lifetimes. And in your last meeting together, it was literally like you were star-crossed lovers. It's like you fell deeply in love with each other, but you just couldn't be together. Okay? There was something that got in the way, whether this was death, status, uh, cast, you know, wherever the hell. Like there, there was something keeping you two apart. But in this life, you're coming back together for a reunion. And it's just, I mean, it's like magic. It's like you feel like you definitely manifested this, okay? Um, now, this person could be very mercurial as well. And they, like, have heavy um, Gemini energy because we have the magician. Um, you know, in tarot, the, the magician is mercury energy. So, um, again, we have Gemini energy, which Gemini is ruled by mercury. So, I, I feel like the communication between you and this person, it's just, it's like... It's weird because when you get together, you just met this person in this lifetime, but the conversation, it's like as if you just picked up a conversation with an old friend that, you know, you hadn't seen in a while, but you'd known forever. And that's how the ease of the conversation is going to go. Um, it's very interesting. So some of you definitely could be, um, uh, we have Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries here. So keep those signs. This also could talk about timing. Uh, during Aquarius season, during Aries season, during Gemini season, okay? And this could also indicate the sun or rising sign of the person. Um, some of you might actually have the indicators in your chart that your mate, your betrothed, the one that your first relationship, maybe for some of you it'll only be the only one, okay, uh, is with a Gemini 
an Aquarius or an Aries. And if you want to find out if that's you, you can head over to my Patreon. Um, CR and I have done a series of podcasts where we are talking about this and how you can find it in your natal chart. Okay. Um, it literally, I'm telling you, <laughs> it's so accurate. It's scary. Okay, and it really does delve deeply into who you're supposed to be with and whatnot. So if you want to check that out and learn about it, head over to my Patreon. Um, it's, it's, it's multifaceted, too. It's not just one thing. So just keep that in mind. So um, I'm just, I feel like this is just like, it's like so freaking like the, the powerful love energy. And my heart is just like, I feel like a heaviness in my chart, uh, my, my chart, my heart, <laughs> that too. Um, that is like, it's like my, my heart is just like, I can feel the, the powerful energy right there at the heart center looking at this. And it's just like that high kind of feeling literally spring, you know, like that, that, you know, uh, when spring rolls around and it's that first spring day where it's just so fucking epic outside, the weather is so perfect. The birds are chirping. It's beautiful. It's so comfortable outside and it just makes you feel so fucking alive. That is how you feel with this person. It is like that rebirth, that spring, once again, uh, you guys are coming together. It's so fucking beautiful. You know, this energy, there is a sense of freedom when you're with this person as well, because we have Uran, um, Uranus, Aquarius, which of course is ruled by Uranus and Saturn. Okay. Saturn is the original ruler. It's a co-ruling, uh, sign here. And of course, Aries is Mars, um, but there's, there's going to be some kind of placements with that, I feel like, for this group, definitely, and the Mercury placement. Some of you might actually have your Mercury conjunct your sun, which is quite common, but um, this could indicate that you definitely are, you attract young, people younger than you uh, or youthful type of people definitely towards you. Um, and I get the sense that there could be a slight age difference between the two of you, Um but I mean, the intensity of the attraction is so fucking strong because we also have the page of cups. So yeah, um, there's definitely a youthfulness attached to this. Um, this family energy here has a definite longstanding tradition. This person is definitely a part of your soul family. No doubt about it. And, you know, we often incarnate multiple times, you know, uh, with the same soul family. So um, the people around you, not just your lovers, but your friends, your family, these are like you've most likely incarnated with them multiple times and you have different roles in each lifetime. So with the family room and the high honor, let's take a look at um, the meanings behind these a little further. So with family room, th now there is definitely like a time associated with this in particular. Um... Literally, it's a room that stands for all private or enclosed spaces, such as living rooms, hotel rooms, offices with doors, apartments. More abstractly, it represents privacy and intimacy. This sense of closeness can also refer to the time and place, as in soon, near, right next to you, or shortly, no more than a month. Juicy, you guys. So for some of you, this is happening quite quickly, and we are in Aquarius season, okay? <laughs> Holy shit. So, and for some of you, if you're watching this, it's, you know, it's like, again, there's something about these three zodiac signs that have definite strong indicators with this reading. Okay. So also another, this talks about your personal space, your home, apartment, motel room, or office. It also um, means something that is literally in the room. So I, I get the sense that you're going to see this person from across the room or, I mean, I don't know. It's like they're going to be close by you. And since we have Gemini, I don't think this is somebody at a far distance from you. I really don't because Gemini is the third house and this is siblings. This talks about your neighbors, your own community where you live, short distances. Okay, so I don't think this person lives far, but you've never met. So um, the timing is very soon. But be sure to consider uh, the context. Traditionally, it means anywhere from 24 hours to four weeks, okay? 
Uh, hold fast to the present now. This describes anything that is very close, whether temporal or spatial. It is also a card that indicates your home, privacy in all rooms, apartments. You can retreat into your privacy without being introverted. Very interesting. And, you know, so this is your space, your taste, your ambience, your true home. And it put home in quotations here. So again, being with this person just feels like home. Okay. Because you've been with each other so many times and so many lifetimes, they feel like very familiar, very much like home. Being with them is like being home. Um, so with the high honor here, uh, it's a very positive card. Um, Literally, somebody is being honored hardcore. It, trophies, medals, honor, success, promotion, a raise, acing an exam, or graduating with honors. Okay, uh, you're this person is on their way up socially or professional, and this could also indicate you. It also represents anything high or tall. Okay, so this person is probably very tall. Okay. <laughs> Um, it could stand, also could stand for a landmark, a skyscraper, a tall public building. Um, again, I feel like this person could be tall and like you look all petite next to them or vice versa. Something, there's something about that. Okay. Uh, it definitely is talking about achievements, career advancement, recognition, and again, pr uh, promotion. Uh, it's a lot of the time it's very business related. So this could also even for some of you be some kind of, uh, party that has to do with your work where we're celebrating you know the success or promotion of a specific person achieving something okay um it has an element of work that requires knowledge again um that was talking about graduating so this could be a graduation thing uh it's like it's talking about like it's surely going to come to pass okay whatever the cards are coming like around this which look at what is all around it. It's definitely going to happen. Okay. Um, it's just, it's, it's like straight up success, you guys. Okay. This could be job acceptance or promote in a relationship. This could actually imply an invitation or even a declaration of love. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God. I love it. Uh, it also signifies solving problems. It can also demonstrate the resolution of all difficulties. You are deserving of your awards. It also, you know, this literally talks about graduating from school, training, receiving re recognition for your, from your peers, academic degrees, certificates, awards, medals, or just gratitude from customers receiving your, um, you know, what like the for the service you've given and stuff i feel like this is just way fucking positive it's super freaking beautiful energy a lot of good things are definitely coming your way so keep those eyes and ears open again you know as i always tell people on my patreon you can have the most wonderful things promised to you in your natal charts but if you if you do not take action which aries is here which is very action oriented it's not going to happen ever OK, you have to actually take the initiative to make things happen. And if you do take that initiative, the energy is there for you and you will manifest it. OK, literally, that's how this works. This is why knowing about your natal chart thoroughly is very helpful um, in choosing careers, you know, knowing about your relationships, where you're headed. You know, there's so much about it that it's so in-depth. It takes an astrologer years, decades to learn it all, okay? You don't learn it in two weeks, all right? There are aspects you can learn about in two weeks, but it's not gonna be the whole shebang, the whole enchilada. It takes so much study and so much time and looking at thousands of charts to actually understand it. So keep that in mind. So anyways, thank you guys so much for all your support um, and watching this video uh, if you'd like to see more readings by me you can go ahead and head over to my patreon the link is down below where we have those podcasts about your natal promise if you want to learn about that um and uh, make sure to like subscribe and i will catch you next time Bye bye